Hey, it's Brett Birdsong here for Objectively Cool, the WebTube channel where we teach science lessons and God's Word at the same time. Now, that is cool. Now, what do we got here today? We have a vacuum cleaner, shop vac. We got a five-gallon water bottle. We have some magic liquid here. No, that's Ronson lighter fluid and some matches. What kind of trouble could we get in with that? What? Oh! Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> We've also got our fire extinguisher, because we're using fire today. These fire demonstrations are very dangerous. Always have a fire extinguisher near, and do not try this at home. Brett is a professional. Well, sort of. Oh, and my safety goggles. So, here we go. We're going to do the demonstration first, all right? So, I'm going to take this water bottle, five gallon water bottle, I'm going to fill it with some air. One, two, three, four, five. I'm doing that so I have a fresh supply of oxygen on the bottle. Then I've got my lighter fluid. This is just the Bronson lighter fluid that goes in the Zippo lighters, right? We're going to do this for one, two, three, four, five, which is about two and a half seconds. Now we have to spin the bottle around. What we're trying to do here is aerate all that fuel, make turn it into a mist or a gas. So then we take a heated source, this match, Right there. Whoa! That was pretty cool. Not exactly what I was looking for, but you always get a result. So let's try it again. Let's put some more oxygen in there. One, two, three, four, five. We're replacing the oxygen that was burned up in the first experiment, and we're gonna put in some more fluid, lighter fluid. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to shake that up again like this. It's getting foggy in here. Oh, wait, that's my safety glasses. And let's try this again. Light, light, light. You're going to light. Aha, I have lit you. Yes! And that's the reaction I was looking for. Oh, well, we got some afterburning going on here. Like a little after party out of the party. Hey, how about that? Now, our bottle's quite warm, so uh, I want to be careful about ow, how you touch it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, what are we trying to demonstrate here? Well, we're demonstrating that your glasses get all fogged up. So what are we demonstrating with this? As you know, on Objectively Cool, wow, that was really hot. On Objectively Cool, we try to teach God's principles through science experiments, okay? So we have here the jet bottle. I love this experiment. You've probably seen it on other channels, and it's a common one. It's a lot of fun to do, and it's safe. Uh, I've never had to rely on my buddy over here, the uh, uh, fire extinguisher. Uh, so... When I'm talking about applying a, a spiritual principle uh, to a science experiment, I always think about what's going on in the science experiment. For one thing, we have combustion. This is a combustion chamber, okay? And we can think of it, and it actually is a rocket bottle, okay? If we set it on its side and let it go somewhere, it would shoot off, like off to the side, which I've never actually done before. I have seen some people do it, but that needs to be a controlled experiment. Uh, so you have to have some way of guiding your missile because it really it does become a missile, a rocket. And uh, so, uh, what am I thinking about? The what we're thinking about here is the three parts of combustion. You have to have oxygen, obviously, and you have to have uh, fuel, and then you have to have an ignition source, some heat. Okay. And so those, what's going on here is a, the proper combination of oxygen, fuel and heat gives you the result. Now there are a couple of different results that you can get. So let's not put more oxygen in here and let's just put more fuel in and see what happens, okay? We're just gonna go one, two, three, four, five, like that. 
and uh, shake it around again. Oh, now we have extra matches in there, so it's a rattle. So we're going to shake it around again like that. We're going to try and light this mix mixture and see what happens. And if you get in there, right there, have a little bit of flame and it went out. Why? No oxygen in the bottle. It, it, there was, the only oxygen was in the bottle was what was just at the top. And so we're going to put in a little bit of oxygen here. And now, I have this handy dandy shop vac, which I got at uh, local uh, box uh, hardware store. And this was cool because it fits on top of a uh, standard five gallon drum. And so the whole thing cost me uh, like $22. And this is my prop vac. I do not use this for anything other than my demonstrations. And you need one if you're going to do this. So I'm going to put some oxygen in there. I didn't want to put too much. We're going to try it again, see if the fuel that's remaining in there is still in there. Might not be. Ah, look at that. Wasn't that cool? Yeah, see? I hope you got that on film. And what it did was, there was just enough oxygen, just the right mixture for it to kind of burn down. So that's the kind of things that you're going to see on with these bottles, is you'll get the jet, or, or the rocket engine, that, that shoots out really uh, explosively, and uh, is lots of fun to see. And then you can have that gentle burn down, okay? And so we're going to put some more water, uh, oxygen in there. This time, though, we're going to kill the lights, okay? We're gonna, I want you to be able to see what's going on. Now I count to five so that I have a relatively, uh, a relatively accurate way to measure how much fuel I'm putting into it. So one, two, three, four, five, like that. And, uh, and then we shake it up. We're trying to get that fuel aerated so that it's mixed with the oxygen that's in there. And then we're gonna drop the heat exit heat source into it, like this. Yeah! Oh, I love that. That is so cool. That is so cool! Okay, that, oh, now, if I'm thinking about, oh, my bottle is broken. Uh, I've used this bottle over and over for over a, a year, and I busted it. My, uh, so there's, uh, there might be, air coming through here. Anyway, when you don't have a busted bottle, when you put your hand over the top of it, it contracts. We'll put in some footage over that uh, so you can see what happens. But the last time I did it, it broke through the side here and my little patch didn't work. Yeah! Oh, do you see that? What's happening? Somebody know what's going on? What's happening, little... What's going on? The air is pushing it? Yeah? Aaron? Okay, you're almost there. Anybody else? Elliot, what do you think is going on? It's sucking the sides in. That's right. So, Omari. There we go. Okay. Omari's got it right. We burned up 20% of the volume of the air inside because we burned up all the oxygen. Okay? And I put my hand over the lid so I can't get more oxygen in. Okay? If I take it away, it pops back out, which is really cool. Okay. So we are the fuel, right? We're the fuel. Our talents are the fuel. Our obedience is the match when we say, okay, I'm going to step out in faith and do this thing. And the Holy Spirit is the oxygen, comes in and blesses us and makes the combustion possible. Okay? And so that's one way to apply this object lesson. I'm sure there's others, but I want you to think about that. And if you come up with other ways, please leave them in the con comments and subscribe. Wherever the subscribe button is going to be, down here maybe, or up there, or somewhere. Where would that subscribe button go? Anyway, anyway, like us, thumbs up, subscribe, tell your friends about us, and have a great time. You know what? Because this is objectively cool!